Well, you guys got another video here for you on must have tools to keep on your USB stick. Now, if you've got a USB flash drive and you want to make it an all in one toolkit for installing Windows or scanning for malware or basically backing up your data or whatever it is you want to do, you can use your USB flash drive to do that. As long as you set it up right, you'll need a flash drive. These are pretty fast flash drives, as you can see here, pretty affordable as well. These are the Patriot 128 gigabyte supersonic range elite version. This one is, which is the more expensive one. We can build your own custom uh, PCIe uh, NVMe uh, enclosure with the Sabrent one terabyte if you want that extra space. So this is what you can do if you want to set it up that way, depending on how many tools you're gonna to be adding to your flash drive. Now we will use Win USB for this one just to change things up a little bit to show you you can use different tools to create a different uh, bootable USB flash drive with all your uh, tools on it. Now I do get quite a few questions. Someone said something about why would you need to do this? It's pretty self-explanatory really. It means you can have one flash drive with all versions of Windows operating systems on one USB flash drive, which means you can install any version of Windows from one USB flash drive or back up your data using a Cronus or anything like that uh, from that USB flash drive. Another concern was these programs contain malware. If you see here, there has been an extensive uh, analysis done on this particular program so when people post stuff up in the comments like oh this has got an infection on it he's just spreading viruses around i don't do that sort of stuff i try and do my research as much as i can to make sure the program is safe to use and you can see here that ibred analysis has done some sort of test on it to make sure that it's not got any sort of malicious content in embedded into it and you can see it come back pretty clean here they looked at all the code and you see extracted files clean so it did come back with a clean bill of health. Now also you may sometimes with some antivirus programs, you may get a flag when you go to click on the program. And this may be because it's an unknown publisher or the nature of the program and what it's actually doing. So sometimes this does happen and it's classed as a false positive. But if you choose not to use it and you want to block it, that's all good. It's up to you whether you want to use these or not. But you can see here, this is showing up as yellow. It's an unknown publisher. It means it's just use at your own risk, basically. And that's basically what these programs are. You always use these at your own risk. So if you don't want to use them, don't use them. I've used them for quite a few years and I've had no problems. So you're going to need to select your USB flash drive here. And uh, what you're going to do there is once you've got that selected, we can then start to build our bootable USB flash drive. You need to have a bunch of ISO files. These are Windows 10, Windows 8.1 and Windows um, 7. You can then rename these to whatever you like. And once you've got these renamed, so you can go in here and rename this to something that looks a bit more nicer. And of course, we'll just call this Windows 7 Pro SP1, which is Service Pack 1 64-bit. And we can click OK here, and you can see that's now listed on the screen. Now you just have to go through the process here of adding in the ISO images of what you want to do. You can even add in uh, files from a DVD if you want. So I'm just going to quickly name this one Windows 8.1, and we'll call this 64-bit as well, because that's what it is. And we'll click OK, and you can see that's now added. So all we need to do is go through the process of adding these in. Windows 10, and this is the latest version of Windows 10 here. I'll just quickly rename this so you can see how it's done. And this will show up on a black prompt screen when you boot up to this, and you can select which version of operating system you want if you're going to make a multi-boot uh, Windows bootable USB flash drive. Now you can also add other stuff in, it's depending on what you want to add to your uh, type of build, it's entirely up to you. You can see here, I'm just going to call this Windows 10 1909 64-bit, and I think we'll just add one more in here. We'll probably add in our WinPE. You can see here WinPE ISO, this is the bit you need to add in for your WinPE, so I'm going to add this in here and we're gonna change this up a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. We don't need to have the dot ISO on the end there. And I think that's good enough for what I need here. I can put 64 bit on there, click okay, and she's good to go. So there you are, you've got your main uh, installation files here and also I've got a WinPE here, which means I can now boot to either one of these and use it. Now you can format your uh, drive, I've already done mine, but you can format your drive to whatever you need. 
just read the instructions on the screen and choose which way you want to format yours and go with that okay now you can skip the format process if you've already done it you can see I've already got mine formatted here I'm just going to click yes and skip the formatting process this will uh, write the UEFI NTFS boot partition onto there and this will get this all set up for me you can now see that it's starting to extract all of these files and that will put those into the proper folder inside our USB flash drive so it will extract those it does take a fair bit of time so be patient and once it's finished the first one it will then finish that item and move on to the next one so let's talk about this in more detail why you would need to do this I think a lot of people ask that question I don't know why because it's pretty self-explanatory you have all your operating systems on one USB flash drive that means when you're working as a PC repair tech or you install a lot of operating systems all of the time you can have one drive with all the versions of Windows onto that uh, USB flash drive you can then just boot to that USB flash drive and choose what version of Windows you want to add and you can uh, remove this and update it with the latest version at any time you wish by using the same program it's pretty useful and pretty handy so rather than having four different separate USB flash drives with one bootable operating system on there you can have all of the operating systems on one USB flash drive which makes it very easy and uh, quick to do now also what you can do is you can add other things to this you don't just have to have Windows operating system files added to a USB flash drive you can have a Cronus added to there you can have a WinPE which has all your tools i.e. for backing up for malware scans, uh, for data recovery, for fixing uh, problems with Windows, anything like that, you can add them all to one USB flash drive. So now you're getting a very powerful utility at your disposal. So you can see that job has now finished. Now that doesn't mean uh, we can just walk away here. We can add more uh, files to this at a later date or right now if we wish we could just uh, just click OK here. And if I wanted to add something else, I could click on uh, another file here and add something else to that USB flash drive without disturbing or disrupting uh, the build that I've just created so I can just go in and select the drive itself like I'm just doing here you can see it's now says already on the USB flash drive and I can now choose something else to add to uh, that USB flash drive if I wish at a later date so let me go ahead and show you quickly how to do that just to make sure you see how it works so here we can now enter another name so I'm going to add in our Acronis bootable PE media you will need to own Acronis to do this and I've already got my version of Acronis so I've just already created my bootable uh, PE media for this particular purpose there's two versions that you can create either Linux or Windows I've gone with the Windows version so it plays well with the other versions of Windows what we have on here you can now see that we've added this to the list to get this added to the USB flash drive so all I need to do now is click on the next button we don't want to format at this stage we're just going to say yes here and this will start writing the UEFI NTFS boot partition and start to add that to our drive so you can add things at a later date if you wish and just let that go ahead and you can now see it's extracting this and starting to add this to our flash drive all you need to do here is now click OK here and that is done that is now finished obviously I've speeded that process up but once you've finished you can close this off now if you push continue it will ask you to keep adding more stuff so if you've finished adding content to your uh, drive you can then close this off as you can see this one pops up here and that's because we're going forward without selecting anything so just close off the actual program once you've finished like so and you can then boot to that uh, USB flash drive and install any versions of those windows let me just show you another one which we can do here so I'm going to quickly uh, select our USB flash drive and go through here and I'll show you another uh, thing that you can do so we'll add in our ISOs here we're not going to go with vast amounts of uh, Windows versions we're just going to have a Windows 10 here just because that is the most uh, common operating system nowadays so we'll just add this into our list and I'm going to add in some antivirus program and also a backup program as well so let's go ahead and add something else in here 
So I'm just gonna quickly go to here and add in my Acronis. Again, we can just add this in. So if you wanted to set up, say for instance, an installation uh, USB flash drive with Windows 10 and also a backup uh, sort of ISO, which is for your Acronis, that's good. That means you've got an installation and also a backup. And you might want to have some sort of live environment, say for instance, ESET, which is gonna scan for malware. So that might be a useful one to add there. We're not gonna format it because we've already done that. So I'm just gonna click yes to continue. This will prepare the actual uh, USB flash drive for us. And you can see it can be as complex or as easy as you like. It will start to download that ISO off of the internet for us and get it ready on our USB flash drive. And you can see it's just finishing off Windows 10 here. I've speeded this process up. So it does take a lot longer than this. Probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get this completed. So it's not that long, depending on the speed of your computer and the USB flash drive that you're using. So we'll just finish off here and we should be good to go. I'll boot up and just quickly show you what it looks like so you get an idea of what it looks like once it's been finished and completed. Okay, so that has now been completed and finished. So what we can do is close this off and I'll quickly boot up to show you what the menu will look like. So basically what you'll get is a menu with Nod32, which is ESET's live CD. You'll have the Acronis um, bootable media on there to choose from and you'll have one version of Windows which is Windows 10. So let me quickly show you here. So you can see we have the ESET Nod32 Live CD but as we've listed it here. If I clicked on this it will then give me another option to boot to uh, that live environment and load it up. And as you can see here this is what that's doing. There we go. If I click on this now it will load up I can also go to the Windows distributions here and this will show me the Windows distributions that I've added to my USB flash drive. In this case, I've only got a Windows 10 because this was the latest one I just did. So if I had the other one, it would have had a bunch of them here. I've got Windows 10 Pro 64-bit and I've got a Cronus bootable PE media. So if you click on this, it will start to load up and that's it. Anyway, that's gonna be about it for this video. Uh, the reason why I didn't load that up because obviously that was on a QEM uh, U, which means basically it's just loading it into some sort of memory, which means you can't complete the full process of loading it up. It just it will just crash. But if you did that on a main computer, it would load in and you'll be able to see the installation and stuff like that, which just to show you the menu is working correctly. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it. It's a very useful way of having all your tools in one place on one USB flash drive. And of course, you can add as much or as little as you want, as I showed you in here. So anyway, so I hope that one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know what sort of videos you want to see, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.